Hello there guys and welcome back to Titan Quest Let's Play and uh, we are now in Natula Ridge if you remember in the last episode we began the snowy mountain areas of Act 3 and we found also Marodus bone axe from the, from the Neanderthals now we're continuing continuing through the mountains fighting pangs and stuff and we're pretty close to our next side quest. Well, it's gonna be really short. And this is what I've been talking about in the previous episode. You see what just happened? We've gotten frozen. And we got a bit lucky. Although it's not really that bad on normal difficulty. It's more dangerous later on, like in Legendary, if this happens. Hey, if you notice these djinns come in, start hitting you with their swords and casting squall on you and if you're frozen in place you won't be able to do anything about it now what's this stately diadem look at that dexterity bonus 21 percent gonna have to check that out see it's not that big of a change so it just goes from 234 to 244 and we don't really need to use it because we've got other stats important stats on the on our current helmet right so this is a small side quest it's not really much of a side quest it's just you just have to kill all these monsters and you know protect that trembling guy over there there we go and once you've killed them all you speak to him well, I thought I was done for. thank you friend. and it Please gets completed see how can I, see, how can I repay you and he gives us wondrous amulet wondrous amulet you're giving us that well I guess the quest wasn't exactly that hard but then there we go a caravan of trouble completed you just have to make sure you kill all the quest related sprites and there's a little cave here you can explore as well there's more sprites and some gins as well so yeah, if you notice if you notice cold resistance it's probably very valuable in these parts as all these enemies seem to be using cold like I said, it's not really that bad if you're on normal difficulty. It's just because by the time you get legendary, you might want to really c consider your resistance. You see, we've got 0% cold resistance. Yeah, so we just picked up some stuff which doesn't seem to be that good. We're just checking them all out. And... Alright, let's get back on track and to carry on. So you go this way here. And this is a shrine of healing which we don't really need. We could have tagged it, but I thought there would be some monsters around here, so yeah, never mind. It's another rebirth fountain. It's quite quite frequent around here. All right, well, there's a few of these Neanderthals around here. Some small packs in these places. It's nothing too substantial, really. Just trying to cast squall there. It's not doing that much there. So just gonna speed up, speed up through these parts. I see people travel east, I see them go west, but never have I seen so many monsters. Never have I seen so many monsters. What's this? A relic. Picked up a relic. Jade Emperor Serenity, which gives lightning resistance. And we had the... Uh, earlier we found also a piece of domain of the Dragon Kings, which gave fire resistance. Anything but cold resistance, which we really do need around here. Well, we don't really need it. Only in Legendary, maybe. But by Legendary, you'd have most likely relics from other acts. I think there was... I think there might have been a relic in... Oh, wait, that's Yeti fur. That's what gives you cold resistance. Of course, how could I forget about it? It's monster charm, though, so... You just gotta hunt Yetis. Right, I think... We're almost done... Just kill these guys. Yeah, we should be done. These, oh my god. So many dead Neanderthals just lying about scattered. Yeah. Because you suck, mate. Alright, so what's this? Ring that gives us offensive ability. We do need offensive ability. But we don't want to be losing defensive ability. Hmm. Alright, 
don't really have anything that good to put on it. We really need some more dexterity, I think. I mean, we're not we're not dying for it. I just I just like to keep my defensive ability high. That's all, really. So we go this way, Chumbi Valley, and this pretty cool place because as it goes down, you'll see in a sec. Right here, it sort of goes down in like a bit of a spiral, no spiral, but it's like a zigzaggy structure. It's pretty cool. And here you can see more, more enemies there, and you can cast spells on them like Squall, and you can hurt them. You can keep casting more. Yeah, I think we killed one of them there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it'll take you all day if you're gonna try to kill them all there, so just keep going. It's just something fun to do every once in a while, you know. Right, so just keep going around there. It's a pretty nice view from here, from the top, isn't it? Alright, so Rebirth Fountain. And now, in here, we're gonna start meeting some raptors. Here we are, ice raptors. Notice how passive they are usually. The big ones anyway, the adults. They don't seem to be attacking you really most of the time the little babies the hatchlings they would they usually do attack you they're quite aggressive and if you if you hurt the babies then the adults come into the fight and start hitting you as well but most times adults don't really touch you unless you like unless you start abusing their young which you inevitably have to do because the young starts attacking you like a piece of shit that they are right and uh, yeah raptors they drop a Pretty nice monster charm actually, they drop Raptor's Tooth, which is equipable only on the amulets, on, on the amulet items, and uh, it basically increases your damage output by a percentage, so it's pretty nice, it's nice to get a completed one. Okay, so around here, we've got a little, little place here, this guy. Of our ancestors have turned and this guy continues the uh, mystery in the mountains side quest right here so he updated the side quest first he told us that there's been something happening we'll go inspect that in a second there's also a merchant here and this guy neanderthals are big a what your mother my mother scared me with that story when I was small your mother scared you when you were small. Oh, very good. Come, stranger. We have some good things for you today. Okay, as you say. So, gonna sell some junk and see what this guy has for sale. Alright, well, he has a few good things around here, like this. Ring which gives 50 defensive ability. Pretty impressive. There's this as well. 16% lightning resistance and 25 dexterity. And we do need dexterity. And uh, this was quite cool. Pierce resistance and defensive ability, but uh, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I don't know. I mean, our current helmet is good, and jewelry is not bad as well to be wearing. And this helmet gives 25 dexterity, and we've got 11 dexterity on our current one. I don't know if it's worth buying this just for 14 more dexterity. So no, probably not gonna do it. Farewell. So let's just go and inspect that place. The story that scared that other guy, that poor guy, when he was small. His mother scared him, it's like, what What the heck, what's your mother, why is your mother being so mean to you, scaring you with these horror stories? My mother scared me with that story when I was small. I'm surprised these Neanderthals don't scare you. Alright, so there's obviously, these, there's a lot of Neanderthals here, there's obviously they're covering up for something. And we're gonna inspect that. Because the other guy said that, for some reason, the spirits of their ancestors have risen up, pissed off. For what reason? We don't know. We're gonna find out. So you go into this cave where they got some sacred weapon artifacts. See these ancestors? You just gotta kill them all. They all quest related. Just gotta kill them all, and the quest will be updated. And there we go. You don't really need to come here or anything, but apparently like these pedestals, nothing there. There's supposed to be some weapons there, but they're not there now. So we're just gonna come back to that guy and tell him. Tell him about it. 
Here we are. Tell him. What? The what? Were empty? Are you sure? Yes, I am. The sacred weapons have been stolen. What can this mean? I'll tell you what that means. It means I'll have to go into the mountains and fight a big ass huge ape and then skin it and bring you the pelt. That's what I'll have to do. Well, apart from that last part, but I'll still have to kill a big ass ape who's quite dangerous as well, like a criminal. Like one of those gang members. Barmano is is pretty much like the the ancient world's equivalent of a of a gang leader who's just going around stealing firearms and making his little goons abuse everyone else. But yeah, if you saw that updated the mystery in the mountain side quest after we've spoken to our guy, so now the only job to do is to kill the gang leader. Gang leader by the name of Barmanu. And we will do that very soon. Not in this episode, but in the next we surely would. We've got quite a lot of raptors around here. Quite a lot of raptors. And I'm surprised we didn't find a single raptor's tooth. I mean I mean so many raptors. Surely at least one of them would drop a tr would drop a tooth for us. I usually feel quite bad for having to kill raptors because they're just wild animals really. They're not really you know, they don't try to attack me on purpose. They're just it's just in their nature. Wild animals. And having to kill them just makes me feel like a dick. And there's a bit more here. Neanderthals though, I do like to kill because they're like gang members around here. They're like the ancient world's gang members. And here's the Neanderthal, one of the Neanderthal's monster heroes. Korat Berkin. Yeah, he's not that tough. See, he went down pretty easily. Without any hassle really. He's not really the real Neanderthal hero. The real Neanderthal hero is Barmano. I keep talking about this Barmano, I mean... But you, you should probably know why he's so infamous for his... For his cheeky, dirty move, you know? A lot of people probably hate him. Because how he stuns people and then drops an avalanche on them. Okay, there's not that much more to explore around here, just... A few more raptors with their bone piles. I only want your bone piles, seriously guys. And most of the time, these bone piles don't have anything of interest. Just useless junk. Alright, well, it's time to get ascending. And we're gonna stop the episode around here. In the next episode, we hopefully would get to Barmano and kill him. And then we'll skin him and bring the pelt to that guy. Not really. But we, got, we are gonna kill him though, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get to him within the next episode. So yeah, I'm gonna stop around here guys and I'll see you later. Bye bye.